Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the HP EliteBook 840 G10. To access the internals, you have to undo just five captive Phillips head screws. Then, pop the bottom panel in the zone behind the hinge cover to create a gap between the base and the plate. After that, work your way around the sides and the front. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. There is a small thermal pad on the inside of the metal bottom plate for cooling the SSD. Our laptop has the optional 51.3 watt hour battery. The default version is a 38 watt hour model. To remove the battery, detach the connector from the main board and undo the four Phillips head screws that keep the unit in place. The optional capacity lasts for 10 hours of web browsing or 7 hours and 42 minutes of video playback. Not bad given the high-res 120Hz display. To achieve that, you have to select the HP Optimized Modern Standby Power Plan that can be found in the Control Panel's Power Options submenu. Also, you have to apply the Balanced preset in the Windows Power and Battery section. The RAM section is protected by a metal plate. For memory upgrades, there are two SODIMs. According to HP, the two slots fit up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 4800 MHz, or 5200 MHz RAM in dual-channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 96 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. Here, the memory sticks are rated at 5600 megahertz, but they operate at 4800 megahertz. Below the cooling fan, you can see the W1 slot for optional LTE or 5G connectivity. Storage-wise, you get only one M.2 slot for 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. There is a cooling pad below the NVMe. The cooling system looks good for an iGPU-only laptop. It has one large fan, a pair of heat pipes, one top-mounted heat sink, and a heat spreader.